Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a podcast. Or should I say welcome to? I haven't done one of these for quite a while. I've decided that I'm going to do a podcast once a month and just talk about the projects that I've worked on in that month. I, If you've been watching my vlogs then you know I'm rolling a dice once a week on a Monday to determine what project I'm working on uh, and that's working really well. I've decided that I'm going to have 12 whips so 12 sided dice and then I have um, smaller projects that uh, I will work on throughout the week as well that could be socks, hat and I've got dishcloths on that little mini list as well. This week I've worked on my hat I'll show you that in a bit um, so yeah places you can find me I'm on Instagram as underscore dear designs underscore I am on Facebook, but I don't really use Facebook that much anymore. I'm more on Instagram than anywhere else. Um, um, I don't really have anywhere else socially, if that makes sense. Um, I do have a Kofi shop that I sell my laser engraved, oh, my, my laser bits and pieces <laughs> um, that is linked down below I do have an Etsy shop as well uh, just bearing in mind that if you did want to buy anything then I have the same project pro products on Etsy and Kofi and Kofi is a little bit cheaper uh, because on Etsy the fees and everything like that so um, and when I do send orders out I always put my Kofi details um, and stuff so people can come back to me via Kofi um, but yeah that is linked down below I do yarn hangers I've got earrings stitch markers um, all different bits and pieces in the shop um, where else I don't think there's much wet like there isn't much else um, I'm on Ravelry as Denise dear um, I don't really put my projects on Ravelry I apologize I just it's not something that I do uh, I I've got a couple on there where I was going for a stage of doing it but I don't anymore um, so yeah uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is the year of the sock 2024 um, I am stopping that knit along uh, the last um, drawing for that will be this month so it will be I will draw tomorrow which will be the first of July uh, for June I am going to be stopping that knit, knit along uh, just because there isn't much activity in there at the moment um, and I did find this last year as well that throughout the year it just got less and less which for the people that are entering I am sorry uh, but there just isn't much interact interaction I'm not being very interactive with it because I'm not knitting socks at the moment uh, but there might be the odd knit along here and there um i just find a year long knit along it's quite tough so what i might do is just every now and again just say oh we're gonna have a knit along for this or we're gonna have a knit along for that and so on and so forth um please still share all of your makes on instagram on ravelry and stuff like that i just won't be pulling prizes for uh the knit along itself um if you can see any light changing then um, Ian is here and he's um, playing on Xbox so I thought I would do this today so I can get this edited and uploaded hopefully fingers crossed for tomorrow as well as the vlog so um, next week's vlog is going to be a little bit different I'm going to do what I make in a week um, maybe I haven't really decided on that yet <laughs> um, I might just pick up the camera as and when like I normally do anyway um, I have got some notes here so apologize for looking down but I haven't done this for so long um, the first thing first project I want to talk about is uh, one that I started um, on the last cast on party uh, that Tonya from Karma's a Stitch had and that was in April I think I think it may have been April um, and I started a little rainbow dress it was a little knitted dress for my niece Amelia um, and I cast it on and it was huge really wide and I was like this ain't really working out how I want it so then I pulled it back I put it to one side I had a look on Ravelry I had a look at other people's projects and the comments that they had made and they someone had said that they had made the smallest size for a four-year-old 
Now I was making it for a two year old, so I was like, okay, that might work. So they did the numbers for the smallest size, but the length for what they needed. I did start that. I got a good few inches on it and I was looking at it and I just wasn't in love with it. I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to knit on this and I just pulled it back. So it's pulled back. It's back into the ball. The ball's back into stash. I just was like, no, I'm done. And to be honest, I it was a pattern from a Simply Knitting magazine uh, that I had, uh, I had. I even chucked the pattern away. I know I shouldn't have done, but I did because I am never, ever, ever going to make it again because it is just so wrong in size and everything. So yeah, it's out of my pattern stash. The yarn is back into stash and I will use it for something else. So yeah, that was that. Um, the I, If I can, I don't think I can get a picture of it. If I can, I'll put a picture up of what it should have looked like, but it just didn't. Um, so the next thing that I finished and I worked on this, well, no, yeah, I finished and worked on this month was my souvenir shawl. So I've made one of these already. I don't have any pattern. I don't have any patterns to show because it's a finished object. And obviously this is my first one back. So I didn't know I was going to be doing this till a few days ago. Um, but going forward, I will try and make sure I have the pattern and all the details, but I'll put the picture up here of what the souvenir shawl pattern looks like. But mine's finished and it is here. I used a Woolly Mama yarn and this is it. It is beautiful. It's such a lovely pattern and it blocks out so nice. It's garter stitch. It's so lovely. Um, I have got some notes here. It's done on a four mil needle and um, yeah, it's just called the souvenir shawl. It was Woolly Mummy Yarn, June 2023. So I was getting her collage club um, and she would just put a picture, like a picture up of loads of different pictures um, and the yarn would be inspired by that. Um, it it was really, really lovely while I was getting it. Um, I got it for quite a few months and then I found that I was getting yarns that were quite similar. So I stopped getting that. I may get it again in the future, who knows? But this is the souvenir shawl. And it's just a nice one skein shawl that it's more of an accessory than like to keep you warm. You can have it sort of quite low. Um, so it's nice like a spring autumn type shawl I really really like it um I'm gonna probably start like a little gift box or something uh just where I'm enjoying knitting these things but I I probably won't use them personally um but yeah this is one of them really really nice pattern it isn't a free pattern it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry and I got really confused by the um where you stopped doing this garter stitch and then when you went into this pattern here i did get quite confused i did go to the ravelry notes and the comments it helped a little bit but then it didn't help um and at first i was like oh i'm really stuck my friends did help me <laughs> lucky enough uh but yeah if you have got this pattern and you do get stuck just give me a message and I'll try my best to help you out because it is so lovely and it is such a nice one skein shawl. So that was number one. Well, that is the first thing um, that I finished. And then the week after that, I uh, pulled out the sea glass tea. Uh, so the sea glass tea is a pattern by Woolen Pine. Um, I've got the pattern here. So this is what the tea looks like. I don't know if I've got a front page. Oh, I have. This is what it, the pattern looks like. And it is a one by one colour work throughout using scraps, using dedicated yarns that you want to use. I am using scraps. And I'm using two magic knot balls that I've got. 
um oh that's now on the floor but um yeah i've got two of of these that i've made ages and ages ago and i decided to start this so what i'm gonna do is place a stitch marker have i got one on here i don't think i have um place a stitch marker on here and then that will uh, give you a guideline of how much I do the next time that you you see it but um, this is what mine is looking like it's it's very blue and purple um, sorry the light is not brilliant because I'm at the side but and it's very creased where it's been creased up in the bag but that should all come out in blocking I hope <laughs> um, so yeah this is what mine is looking like I'm really pleased with it so far um it's nice to knit the one by one is fine i'm not having a problem with the one by one color work um i'm doing english style and continental style and yeah i'm i'm really pleased with the way it's, it's turning out i have got a whole bag here of um bits and pieces this whole bag is full up with bits and pieces of yarn that i was going to use to make yarn cozies but then I thought it would be perfect to use in this. So I might make another two magic knot balls, just random lengths and that, um, because a lot of these are like quite big balls and I don't want to use like something that large. Um, so I might do another two magic knot balls, just do random lengths um, and then carry on with what's in here. So yeah, that is living in my Elderflower Stitches bag. And I'm just going to carry on with this once it gets pulled out of rotation or out of the, the dice roll. I'm going to put that on the floor because the ball of yarn has gone rolling. So that was that one. The next one um, that I started, I did cast this on. Um, I decided that on a Friday I'm going to fill my slots up that I've got that are free on a Friday. So I cast on the free colour cashmere cow and I managed to do the rib on the Friday and then on the following Monday it pulled that project. So this is my three coloured cashmere cow that's not three coloured or cashmere it's a four coloured merino cow <laughs> the pattern that i've used is uh this one it is the three coloured cashmere cow by hopi locatelli and i've just followed the pattern as it is but i've changed up the colors i will probably knit this over and over again i absolutely love it and I will do more of these. It is so lovely. And again, this could easily go in a gift box or something. It's really easy to knit. I really did enjoy making this. So yeah, that was that one. Um, I knit that on a, I've got all of my notes here. So this is, I knit this I knit it on a three mil needle and I the yarn that I used was left over from my Geo Gradient. Um, and I used in total 111 grams of yarn, which was 445.88 meters. Um, so, and that took me just under a month to knit, but then again, I am um, using the dice roll. So it's a bit, it doesn't really, like that could easily be knit in, well, I did knit it in a week. So yeah, that's that one. And then I knitted a lemon meringue dress for Amelia, which, well, I crocheted, sorry, a lemon meringue dress for Amelia. I have gifted that to her because um, we see Jodie yesterday and we won't be seeing her again uh, because she's going away, we're going away, and I won't see her for a little while, so I did gift that yesterday. I did show it in my vlog, so if you want to go and see that, that is it over on my vlog. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Then I decided to try and finish my muscle bra. A few weeks ago now, a few months ago, a few months ago, I dyed up three cakes of yarn to try and 
make them gradient from one color to the next and I think I was quite successful and I have finished my muscle bra so a muscle bra is you knit from one end to the other um, this colorway is just blowing out <laughs> um, you just knit from one end to the other doing your increases on one end decreases on the other and then you put one end into the other and you have two different types of hats or different two different colored hats uh, which is not the whole purpose because the pattern isn't written for that uh, but that is why I wanted to uh, I wanted to dye up cakes to make them like this um, so one side's pink the other side is orange um, it does fit me quite nice this one and it fits quite well with a brim so this is how this one fits I did knit one before and it was a bit big um, so my sister took that one from me it was blue and purple um, but this one does fit me a lot better and it's like double or triple quadrupled at the ears so um, you could wear I could wear it slouchy um, I don't really look good in hats but um, yeah I'm really really pleased with it it's um, it's, it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry um, but oh my god I absolutely love it and I will be casting on another one with the yarn that's up here but you'll see that uh, when I cast it on I might try and cast that on today um, because it might be a project that I take away with me because it's just round and round and round so yeah that is my muscle bra and then I cast on socks um, so I've been pulling out of my wrapped yarn um, Amanda from Little Lycak has got a knit along going and it's the Soxy and you know it and she is doing a knit along where you at the beginning of the year you wrapped yarn and once a month at the beginning you would pull a, pull a package out unwrap it and knit that yarn so I pulled this yarn out which is Bellica Yarns Bellica Yarns and it is got no colourway name but it was very Christmassy it's it's like undyed with red and green with a green mini um, and I did start knitting it and that is what it's looking like but then Mandy from Mouse Witch Yarns is doing a Christmas in July knit along and I was like well this is going to be perfect because one we're going away round and round and round and I can knit socks fine so this is going to be my Christmas in July make along and yeah that that explains that really um, I need to pull for the next pair of socks I have lots of sock needles so I can easily knit another pair of socks uh, so I probably will do that I'll pull tomorrow because tomorrow is the first I'll pull another package out of the bag and that will be my July socks um, right that's that um, and then on Thursday um, just gone I decided to cast on a few more things to add to my list because it was had five slots open and I have decided that with my advent that I got from Sally uh, we did a friendship swap uh, at advent there was quite a few of us that joined and we all sort of swapped names and um, so I am gonna cast on another advent and did I print the first page? Probably not. No. I have knitted one of these before, so if you've been with me for a little while, you would have seen that I've knit this before. And I have numbered, I've got all of the yarns together. So they're all in here. I laid them all out while I was on Zoom one evening, and I had my friends help me. Uh, put them from numbers 1 to 24 and I've got those numbers and I have knit the cuff and the cuff I'm using uh, a truly hooked yarn it's on a sparkle base and it's called strawberry shortcake and I'm ready to take this cut this now 
um, because I don't need this colour anymore. This is my cuff. It's a one by one twisted rib and I cast this on to add this to my list. Um, and this is living in my crochet basket. The yarn has been in here since January because I didn't know what to do with it, but now I do. It's living in there. So that is a cast on added to my list. Um, I have also cast on today because today I was using it just to fill up more slots really for my little um, list of whips. I've cast on, now you'll have to excuse the print out of this, I don't know what happened. It's called the Get Set and Go Shawl. It's um, a, it was a free pattern on Ravelry. I think it still is until the end of summer. Sorry about that, the battery died. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Uh, so um, yeah, this pattern, Under the Olive Tree, it's by Under the Olive Tree. Get set and go. Like I said, you'll have to excuse the print out. I don't know what happened, but it's this here. And as you can see, it's uh, my printer just wanted to color, uh, to print all of the colors by the looks of it. Um, so that's that. And I have started that with some yarn by, um, who is this by? Uh, Joe Knit Sews. And I got this at Mm. Southern Wool Show a little while ago. The colourway is out of this world. I'm just trying to get the ball band to. Oh, that's it. So Joe Joe knit sews, and it is a purple and green colourway. It's really pretty. And I've got this much, which is not a lot, but I just wanted to get it started to be able to put it in my um, my my pile. So this is how much I've got. It's a really nice, easy to follow pattern. So yeah, that's that's that. That's another one that I can add to my um, the list. I also need to add it to my book as well so I will do that a little bit later um, that's just living in a, a sheep bag by Pickle Lily I like these bags because they're quite small um, so I need to get that sorted and write that in my book so I also need to put did I do the red vent I can't remember um, talking to myself <laughs> Uh, the next thing that I want to cast on today, and I'm going to do that in a little while, if I've got the needles, because I always find out I'm running out of needles of a certain size, is another Ripple Bralette. Now, I've made two of these in the past. Really, really love them. Love the pattern. So easy, simple. Really enjoyed making them. And I'm going to make it in Mouse Switch Yarn. And it's the Year of Yarn. Uh, October last year and it's this orangey burnt orange yellow it's got greens in it it's got loads of different colors in it but it's this here and I just thought that would be really nice and funky and I'm gonna try and knit a longer body this time we'll see how that goes um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to starting that today. I haven't really gone into too much detail about projects and patterns and needle sizes and all stuff like that because I'm just I've just pulled everything together and just tried to get this this done. Uh, so next time I podcast, I will hopefully have more information and stuff. But you can always go over to the Ravelry pages. I will leave everything linked down below um, of all of the stuff that I've spoke about today, all of the patterns that I talk about, all of the people I talk about. I will leave everything linked in the description box below. Um, I am planning on casting on another thing as well and it's called the cross hill cardigan now if you watch nancy from kitty scrapper she did show it in her last podcast and it's like a waterfall front cardigan 
in um, like a solid colour but it's got um, rows of like a star stitch and I think you need eight colours to um, make the star stitches you could make it all in one colour if you really wanted but in the pattern it's got eight different colours and you can use that as you go down to show the stitches I suppose now I'm going to do that but I'm going to do the coloured stitches I'm going to pull eight minis from my mouse switch <coughs> yarn um, mystery box so I'm going to pick eight that sort of go together and that is what I'm going to do at some point I haven't decided when I'm going to cast that on yet um, it will probably be after I come back I don't think I'll be casting it on it beforehand because I don't have the solid colour um, I want like a black or a really dark grey or something to go with that so I haven't got enough of a colour to make it if that makes sense um, so yeah that's that um, is there anything else that I've been working on I don't think so um, that is that is all I have been working on I think um, but I am going to roll the dice tomorrow and I am going to see what project I work on uh, let me know if you're enjoying the vlogs as well if you are watching the vlogs obviously um, I'm really enjoying doing them and editing them at the end of the week and stuff so but I just thought some people don't like watching the vlogs some people just like looking and watching what people are working on seeing what people are working on uh, so I thought I'd do the podcasts as well so that is going to go ahead going forward um, and it will be either like right at the end of the month or right at the beginning it will be sort of on the turn of the month there'll be a vlog uh, a, a podcast sorry of me just showing what I've worked on that that month um, and any incoming yarn and I'll just make sure that I have podcast notes so next time I'll be more informative <laughs> but that is everything for today's podcast um, I don't think there's anything else I've forgotten if there is I'm sorry uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed I hope you come back and watch more podcasts that I do every month and I shall see you all very soon bye